is up you guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel i'm deja hello today's video i'm about to turn this light down i feel like it's too bright today's video is going to be a q a or whatever i don't know i haven't done a q a in a minute and i feel like it's some some new people in here so what's up what's good if you knew comment down below a pineapple emoji is, is my gum gonna get annoying I apologize in advance. I'll probably take it out when I start talking. I've asked you guys to ask me some questions over on my Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you go in the description box and follow me, okay? So let's pull up these questions on Instagram. I said, do it a Q&A, ask me anything, make it spicy. And y'all was just all up in my boy. Like, damn! We just gonna hop right into it because there's a lot of them. Can I suck them toes? <laughs> no, I do not like feet and I don't like people touching my feet. I don't know, I don't feel like I have ugly feet, but it's like, I don't like people touching my feet. Like, it's, it's weird to me because I don't like feet. Like, don't try to touch mine, don't put yours on me, no. <laughs> do you have friends that are fans? Um, I don't necessarily think that's how I would put it, but I feel like all of my friends are supposed supportive of me and they like support what I do throughout everything in my life so they be hyping me up or whatever but I don't think they fans somebody has asked a lot of people are asking me this and a lot of people have asked me on here if I like girls or if I'm bi or if I'm gay like what I ever and you know what I would never say I would never because who knows what the future holds as of right now I know I just kid about like oh I want a girlfriend because these men ain't sh but I don't think I could really have a girlfriend. Women are beautiful, but I don't think, I, I don't like, I don't like them. I don't like them like that. I like men a little too much. <laughs> What's the hardest part of being a mom? I feel like, honestly, everything. Having to remember that someone is looking up to me, you know, like everything I do in my life, everything I am gonna do is for my kid. Like everything that I do. I know you guys see me on here doing this or doing that getting lit but you guys have to remember that's only literally like 10 to 20 minutes of my life and what i put on the internet is for entertainment purposes that's not my entire life okay i don't just be drinking 25 8 you know it's just what i put on youtube to entertain you guys but a lot of people just be thinking i'm like an alcoholic or like i'm a bad mom or like i don't know y'all be in my dms talking reckless so i think i'm gonna just go back private <laughs> and with my life and like what I put on the internet because honestly I've been doing this for years like I've been the way I am for years I just have not ever brought it onto YouTube and since I'm like bringing it out and showing you guys like another side of my life um I don't know I think I'm gonna kind of go back to how I was because a lot of you guys have an opinion I'm not saying you can't but it is fucking annoying like <laughs> Period, just like that, it's annoying. Have you ever received bad head? Um, one time, yeah, and it was, it was, it was tragic. Would you marry the last person you had sex with? Ooh, wait a minute, I was gonna say no, but honestly, I probably would. I probably would, cause he is fine, nigga, like, that man is fine. YouTubers, you got beef with, who are they? Um, I would say no one. I don't have beef with anybody, and I would never have beef on the internet, because like, that shit is so trash to me. You would never catch me arguing with nobody on the internet because I would really slap a hoe. <laughs> Honestly. First of all, I'm not finna argue with nobody in person, so I'm damn sure not finna argue with nobody on the internet. If I, I don't like to argue. That's just one thing about me. I do not like to argue because I would really just slap you. Like, I would not say one word to you. You can argue with yourself. <laughs> Would you date Chris Sells? Um, no. Not at all. Thoughts of being bisexual? I don't think I've ever thought about being bisexual. Bisexual. I don't know if you're asking me, like, what are my thoughts on people who are bisexual? But if that's the case, I don't care. Live your life. Do what you want to do. Like, if that's what floats your boat, bitch, then ride the wave, you know? Like, good for you. Do what makes you happy. I really don't have anything against bi, gay, trans, LGBTQ plus community, you know? Um, I feel like everybody should be happy. Why don't you like getting people's names tattooed on your body? The only person's name I do have on me is Layden's and it says Layden JC and my father's name is JC So I feel like it was kind of just both of their names, you know, 
Um, but I always told myself I would never get nobody's name tattooed on me. I just don't know. I don't like how it looks really. I don't know. It was just never a thing for me. Um, so pretty sure Layden's name is the only name that's ever going to be on my body. I don't even care if I have any more kids. Like, that's just, no. I don't know. <laughs> I got it because it was a cute tattoo. Um, it still is a cute tattoo. I really like it. But would I change it to something else? Probably. I would get, like, probably something that like symbolizes him and not his name type of thing. Have you ever cheated? No, I have not. Um, I feel like cheating is so pointless. Like why even be with the person if you're just gonna cheat on them? Like might as well just be single, you know? Who's the fakest person that's been a part of your life? You know what? I would rather not disclose that information. <laughs> But I do feel like everyone that has been brought into my life has been there. Teach me a lesson, I should say. So I feel like they, everyone in my life that's not in my life anymore have honestly helped me grow into the person I am today. So yeah. Ever been in a fight? If so, briefly explain. So I have fought before in my life. Um, briefly explain. Um, okay, my first fight, I was in high school. Um, and I fought her because she went to fight my older sister. My older sister was 18 at the time and this girl was like 14. So I was like, my sister's not going to jail for you. And then she was talking a lot of mess about my whole family. So I was like, girl, just get beat up real fast. <laughs> Are you and your baby daddy still messing around? I got thousands of questions of that and the answer is hell no, okay? No, we're not. Have you ever gotten head while giving head? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody asked me a question and then they said, oops, this is for you too. Um, have you ever done it with a girl? Because <laughs> the question they asked me for is kind of a lot for you too. But no, I've never done anything with a girl. Are you spontaneous enough to have sex while ordering food at McDonald's drive through I'm a very spontaneous person, I like to say, but that is a little much. That's jail time. That's getting put on a sex offenders list. <laughs> like, no thank you. What is your favorite thing to do in a relationship? Explain, like cuddling, for example. Uh, my favorite thing to do in a relationship? Hmm. I feel like if we could just be like the best of friends with each other, like homies, and like just going to do crazy shit. Because I'm an adrenaline junkie, like I'm a daredevil at heart. So if we can go do some crazy sh together and like it be lit like that's lit like I really fuck with you how do you feel about the vaccination um I'm not getting it if you get it that's fine with you but me personally I'm into like the whole conspiracy sh and I have my own um FBI agent this is just a theory I feel like they put in something in those vaccines that's like they gonna be able to control us like they gonna push a button and everybody just gonna die if we wanted them to you know like I feel like that's gonna happen I feel like they putting something in there that's gonna control us. Like, I don't know, I, I, ain't, I ain't getting it. Don't mind my finger, I just broke this nail today. I'm about to take them off and redo them. And I did do my nails myself, y'all can see these ones. They got dollar bills in those, dollar dollar bill hoes. But yeah, I'm about to redo my nails. Don't come for me. <laughs> do you smoke that gas? If so, how often? The answer is no. I mean, I have and I will, but um, no, I don't prefer to, you know? As y'all can hear by the stories that I've told, I be tripping. Think you're gonna regret living with Brie? Honestly, I don't think so. Um, me and Brie really get along with each other, and a lot of people were saying that on our little video that we posted about like, you're not supposed to live with your friends. Of course we know this, we've talked about this. Um, me and Brie communicate very well with each other. We agree with so much on every type of level that we kind of both have an understanding with each other of how like our lives should work together, how they're gonna work. And you know, if it doesn't work, it don't work. I don't feel like we will allow us living together to affect our friendship because that's like my, I love her so much. Um, I don't think us living together for a 12 month lease or however months we live, probably six months, is gonna affect anything. Everyone keeps asking me this question, so I'ma just answer it. It says, do you have a crush on someone? If so, who is it? And do they live in Atlanta? <sighs> one, that's a lot of information. Y'all, are you the fans? For one. Two, I wouldn't say necessarily a crush because the type of person I am and the point of I am at in my life after having like talking stage fails and like being in a relationship for eight years and like crushes, like I don't really, I don't care for them. Do I like somebody? Oh, 
them. I started to really like somebody and like just everything I've been through in my life, it kind of like all that just kind of made that come down a little bit. But um, do I like somebody? I mean, I feel like I like the kid a little bit, but I guess he a crush or whatever. And do he live in Atlanta? Y'all do in my business. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> is there any secrets you're still hiding from your parents? Um, no, I don't think so because I don't really think I'm a, I was a bad kid. So I wasn't like sneaky. I never had to be sneaky. My mom was a very cool parent. I would just ask her for stuff if I really needed it or tell her stuff. If I wanted to do something, I would just let her know. Um, and my dad, he would just know me before I can even do stuff myself. Like that nigga knew me more than I knew myself. So I don't think I've ever hidden anything from my parents. What's your preference? Dark skin, light skin, or brown skin? Um, honestly, I don't care, but my preference is black. I love black men. They are beautiful. That melanin just hit different. Now, that's not saying that I wouldn't date outside my race though. But I probably, I don't know. It depends on the person. I've never dated outside my race. I've never done anything with anybody that wasn't black, okay? Like, I just like my black kings. I like them. I like them a lot. <laughs> when we going to have on the baby, sir? You know, every time I post this friend, because this is the homie that said that, um, he in love. <laughs> every time I post on the orange fly, your son needs to have a brother. When we go have a baby. Leave me alone, because I almost said your name. Would you do a Turk tutorial? Because, girl, with fire emojis. Um, if y'all want to see that, I got little cakes back there and like they be moving over there. Am I going to get demonetized if I film a video like that? Probably. Because every time I post a video on TikTok, shaking little cakes or whatever, and it don't even be like ass in the camera. It be like from the side, little shake. And they always, um, community got like my videos and delete them, so. <sighs> Hopefully YouTube don't do that because I've seen people do twerk tutorials. I'm gonna make this the last question, okay? Because literally every question is something spicy and then it asks if I have a boo or a crush and this question says, are you trying to move to Atlanta for your little boo thing? One, who said the person that I'm talking to or communicating with live in Atlanta? Two, I would never move my whole life for a man, bro. That's just not the type of person I am. I've always said that I've wanted to live in London or Atlanta, and if you know me, you should know. Even before I even like visited Atlanta for the first time, I said I wanted to move out there. So then when we did go, I just really liked the vibe and like the feel, and I feel like I don't want to regret anything in my life. So for sure, I'm going to move to Atlanta for at least six months just to see how it is. And for sure, I will move to London for at least six months just to see how it is, you know? But um, the question is, am I moving there for a man's? No. Will I move there for a man's? No. And who said again he live in Atlanta? You know what's so crazy? I posted on my Twitter a couple of weeks ago, like, oh my God, I get to see my baby in a week. I was referring to me seeing my sister and somebody commented like, soon he's in Atlanta. Like, girl, <laughs> get out my best mess. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you made it this far, you're not yet subscribed. What? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. They are down below. And like I said in the beginning, if you want to be incorporated in any of these types of videos, follow me on Instagram. Okay? I love you guys! Bye!